Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Graham Oakes. I'm the current chairman of the Digital Watermarking Alliance. Uh, this afternoon we'll be looking into how changes in real-time watermarking detection can achieve effective anti-piracy monitoring solutions. Over-the-top video distribution has made the world of media piracy a very profitable place to be. Unfortunately, this is not necessarily the case for legitimate content owners and their distribu distribution channel partners. With the release window shrinking, pirates have access to high res video far earlier. This and the continued rise in the popularity of stream media has left the industry with a question. What is my strategy going to be to combat video piracy? The adage, you can't monetize what you can't identify, still holds true and is in fact the crux of the issue. We need, we need a strategy. So how about we start by trawling the pirate sites, looking for our content, and if, or should I say when, we find it, issue takedown notices to have it removed. After that, we continue to monitor the sites, waiting for it to, be, to, for it to reappear, and then take it down again, and again, and again. However many times the links reappear, we need to remove them and reduce the availability of pirated content. But we've learnt nothing about the source, the original leak, or was it multiple leaks? We know nothing. Uh, who knows? The only way we can identify the actual source is from a digital watermark when one has been embedded. Digital watermarking, as most of you likely know, is a signal embedded throughout the content. You can't hear it, you can't see it, but it travels with the video regardless of transformations. The watermark can be detected and used for tracking content across the web and tracing the source of the leak. Watermarking is the only proven method that deters piracy. Watermarks are used everywhere in the production cycle. Watermarking has been used since 2007 for digital cinema. Movie Labs has mandated watermarking for 4K UHD content. They are extensively used for production screeners, set-top boxes and over-the-top TV deliveries. Watermarks are everywhere. They come from different vendors and may even require different keys to enable you to actually read the watermark. It might be a nice idea if we could sort of have a, you know, a quick peek inside the video and go, ah, there you go, I know exactly what that video is, I can see which one it is. Or the alternative is I could just start with one vendor and try and detect it, then I could try the next one and the next. And this is obviously not a good solution. What I would like to see is a watermarking identifier standard, easily and cheaply integrated by everyone in the supply chain. The identifier would be detectable from only a few seconds of video and give us a heartbeat. The heartbeat of the content technology telling us which watermark is alive and detectable within the stream. Now we've established the identity of the watermark in our video, how do we use this and implement real-time watermarking detection in our monitoring systems and what do we gain by doing this? I'd like to introduce you to my fellow panellists, uh, Lawrence and Michael from Odetto and Media Science, both companies who uniquely offer watermarking and in-house web crawling products and services. Um, perhaps you'd like to start by explaining what you do and go from there. Sure thing. Oh, good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> My name is Michael Gamble from uh, Media Science International. I'm the products and accounts manager over there. Uh, Media Science with our uh, Studio CDN and Web Capio products uh, provide secure end-to-end -end 360 degree anti-piracy and business intelligence solutions. Uh, for some of the world's uh, most, uh, for some of the world's leading content creators, movie houses, mu uh, uh, as well as uh, music, and uh, some of the world's uh, leading uh, and most prominent brands. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Graham. Uh, my name is Lawrence Lowe. I'm from Odetto. Uh, Odetto is a, uh, a digital 
uh, security provider for uh, platform and media assets, and we uh, we, we protect uh, assets from uh, in, in, in media and entertainment from the point of creation with content owners and rights owners all the way through distribution. Uh, I uh, specifically work with uh, our studio client base, not only with our security solutions, but also understanding their security requirements and translating them into uh, s solutions and services that, uh, s you know, that, that, that are consumable by the streaming media industry. Uh, we have uh, a, a 360 degree view of piracy ranging from our solutions and conditional access multi-DRM rights management and delivery all the way through online piracy detection business intelligence uh, solutions uh, with watermarking becoming a, a, a key piece to that, that that ties all those solutions together. Thank you. It's um, not commonly known but the music business has actually almost eradicated piracy in the pre-release market and um, this is totally due to having a watermarking policy where everything gets marked, everything's detectable to the individual and responsibility has been applied to those, those people that are actually receiving the music, um, which actually proves that watermarking as a strategy works. Um, why do you think watermarking has not been adopted across the board in, in video? Uh, is it costs, um, complexity of integration, um, robustness questions? Um, have other companies successfully deployed watermarking? Yeah, uh, Greg, that's, that's a very good question. In, in video, uh, it, it's been seen as an incredibly costly and uh, difficult integration of watermarking technology. And you know, uh, over the years, I think, uh, uh, yeah, uh, f uh, speaking from Adetto's experience, we uh, have uh, seen that you know, different, uh, uh, we've streamlined uh, the, the, the mechanism for deploying watermarking. We believe there's uh, uh, a centralized server-based solution is able to overcome uh, those uh, challenges in integration uh, that also do not require client-side uh, uh, deployments of, of a watermarking solution. You can imagine if you needed to replace all client devices, that does become incredibly complex and uh, incredibly costly. So with, with, with new strategies that, that uh, are coming to market, it is much more efficient. They are compatible with CDN, so uh, again, th there is no impact on uh, now, water, with watermarking schemes and uh, CDN compatibility, that makes a lot more reasonable. And, and combined with uh, a greater push from content owners with higher value content, with a higher awareness of piracy, and yes, learning from the uh, experience of the music industry, you're, you're, you're seeing uh, greater awareness. Now, examples of successful deployments of watermarking in the video entertainment industry has been with distributor watermarking. Uh, there, there have been uh, major studios watermark content as it's being sent to different uh, distributors, whether they're MVPDs or OTT providers. They can use that, that signaling information to work out you know, which platforms you know, need additional attention, and that, and that provides a basis for a commercial discussion between the rights owner and the content provider to you know, uh, achieve a mutually beneficial outcome of you know, how do we reduce piracy that affects both, both, both parties' business. Another area where, where, where we're seeing uh, the use of watermarking in video entertainment is in session-based watermarking. Again, as, as, as Graham uh, mentioned, with uh, the Movie Lab's enhanced content protection principles, which all the major motion picture studios are getting behind, yeah, there is a, a, a clear universal standard that the, dis that the distribution industry can clearly understand and with all the providers in the market, implement a solution for session-based watermarking. And when I talk about session-based marking, that's identifying a specific subscriber or user that is uh, taking that content off that platform, off the distribution platform, and making it available in, in pirate sources. So the, 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 those, are, those are two main uh, uh, you know, use cases for uh, watermarking in the video realm. Okay, so uh, you've watermarked it. Uh, what next? So I guess that's the uh, million dollar question. Um, so once you watermark something, um, you have to detect it. And uh, one of the uh, 
uh, one of the easiest and probably the most uh, effective and cost-effective ways to detect it is with an anti-piracy web crawler, business intelligence web crawler. Um, <clears throat> you need, uh, you need a, a web crawler for multiple different reasons, but I guess just the top level is, uh, you know, A, um, you, need, you need it from a piracy standpoint. You gotta make sure that you can not only detect uh, the content that you're trying to um, remove, uh, but you also need to remove it. So you need to have an automated solution to uh, in which to do that. I mean, the, the caveat here is the longer that your high value content remains online, reappropriated, the more revenue that you bleed. I mean, the, the, the fact is, is that nobody sits there and uploads somebody else's files to a file locker and posts a message, a link on a message board uh, understanding that, or with the understanding that nobody is going to download it and everybody is just going to ignore it. It's, it's just doesn't happen. Uh, the other reason is real time. Um, so nowadays, with all of these different types of uh, different, you know, different sports and different leagues being uh, broadcast, streamed uh, across the internet legally, um, you need to be able to uh, you need to be able to in real time identify uh, the content, identify the stream. Um, and if you're lucky enough to have a, uh, a response mechanism that can decode your watermark, uh, be able to uh, track it back to the source and shut it down, and shut it down in real time. Um, and then, it, you know, and it, it, it really comes down to speed, reach, and accuracy here. And uh, you want to be able to quickly identify it. You want to be have the reach to take it down from across the uh, net, and you want to make sure that what you're taking down and what you're actioning is is uh, accurate. So, 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 how does that all fit into the 360 degree approach that we all talk about? Right. Uh, yeah, Graham. That, that that goes back to having. Yeah, it, it's it's yeah, watermarking is something that you deploy in addition to the other content security solutions, whether it's conditional access or, or, or DRM. So yeah, it, it enhances the ability for your existing security solutions to stop piracy, ideally in its tracks. So, it, so that, 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 that specific signal that watermarking provides allows you to take very targeted, very quick, and, and, and very effective uh, uh, the actions to protect content in, in, in your platform. So I think that that's that's yeah and yeah with the 360 uh, approach that we have uh, uh, with yeah with with, with yeah, that with our solution set where we can touch we can tie all those solutions together from uh, uh, yeah, from the point of distribution through discovery in in uh, uh, illegal environments and then all the way back to a specific action that can be taken to protect the content. Yeah, I mean, just adding to that a, a little bit. I mean, with the the 360 degree approach, as as Lawrence said, I mean, it's the beauty of the, doing a 360 degree approach to anti piracy business intelligence solutions and tracking and, and those types of things. There is, is to be able to actually paint a picture after the fact, um, but have mechanisms in there um, in order to stop the piracy, stop the redistribution, um, action the content uh, in, in, you know, all the way some down, down to, you know, monetizing or, cli or claiming the content. Okay, Michael, so what do you see for the major milestones for watermarking in 2017? You know, it's, it, what, what I see uh, for major milestones is, uh, for, for what digital watermarking is, um, I, I tend to see uh, some of these uh, social networks trying to get into things a little bit more. I mean, if you're talking about monetizing things across social platforms and stuff like that, it's it's almost uh, a necessity um, to have some of these uh, to get some of these social networks on board with the watermarking for distributing watermarked video and and uh, and audio um, and and tracking it. And I mean, I, I think it's great because take for instance. Uh, brands tend to like watermarking and tracking so that way they can uh, calculate their uh, departmental key performance indicators for uh, for free songs or free videos they give out and I, I think that you can do a lot of cool business intelligence uh, business intelligence tracking with a, a digital watermark and you know the who what where when and why who listened to it who leaked it and in the source in which it came from Lawrence? Lawrence. Yeah, I, I think you're going to see 2017 being uh, a, a blossoming of the use of watermarking in streaming media. Uh, I think yeah, there's, there's been enough impetus 
you know, from, from the rights owners, from, from the content owners, to, to, to see that, you know, that that are requiring this, uh, the, this additional te uh, technique. You're going to see a real, I think there's a realization from the platform providers that uh, in, in order to get premium content, uh, they, they're going to need to meet these requirements, but it also has an impact. But more importantly, it has an impact to protect the, 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 the revenue. And, and, and I think we yeah, are combined with that, yeah, you're going to see solutions that are able to integrate and, and provide uh, not just watermarking, but other chains in the, in, in, of, of protection for that content in the, through distribution and discovery of illegal content. Yeah, th th those are the solutions that um, uh, providers are going to gravitate towards. And we've seen that uh, uh, in, the, in the beginning of the year where one of the, 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 the leading streaming services in China is, is deploying uh, session-based marking with, uh, yeah, f to protect yeah, early window content from a major Hollywood studio, Fox. And yeah, we're going, I, I, I think yeah, we're going to see a lot more of that in 2017. I think we're just about coming to the end of, uh, of this session. Um, we have 22 digital watermarking cups, <laughs> which they're pretty cool, I've got to tell you. Oh, yeah. Uh, and the first 22 people who aren't members of the Alliance may have a cup. <laughs> Before we get there, does anyone have a question about piracy or digital watermarking for oh, our cups. experts? Mm -hmm. Oh, we got some. Hold on. Hold on here. Uh, how early? How early can we insert the digital watermark? I mean, if we, how, how is that inserted, and how early can it be inserted into whatever it is? You know, the footage. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, I mean, it, regardless of, um, I guess the the media type. You know, it's actually suggested that you insert a digital watermark at every point in the in the chain of custody. So, take for instance some clients that we have. Uh, it it comes from the producer watermarked to maybe another producer or a singer, goes from there to maybe another singer, and it's watermarked all the way down the chain to the distribution. Uh, the watermark. Uh, speaking for media science in general, our watermark is is implemented server side. So you upload your files. You tell who you want to send it to, and then you hit send, and it puts the watermark in uh, and delivers it to the, and actually securely delivers it to the client. And that kind of goes back into the 360 degree approach too, is you want to make sure that you have a, a secure CDN to deliver these, where access is logged, where IP, where time, date, and everything. How many watermarks could you have on one uh, property? Well, it depends on the, it depends on the length of the the length of the media. So, I mean, it, you you want your watermark to be consistent throughout. So, um, you know, depending on how long your watermark is, depending on how much data you're putting in there, is depending on how much the watermark is going to be repeating across the asset. But one watermark can replace another one, so you can keep re-watermarking. How do you how do you prevent somebody else's watermark from replacing yours? It doesn't. It, it's um, because we've tested all of those things throughout. I mean, all, all of the members of the uh, alliance, nobody collides with each other. So once it's in there, it's in there, no matter who adds another one. Correct. Right. Okay, we're going to move on to another question here. For um, similar to, do you, do you know uh, what the, like YouTube got pretty good at the flagging automatically like music and video, similar? They just, it, That's on fingerprinting. It but but for, it's, um, it's on fingerprinting and it's designed not to work, in my opinion. Well, I mean, it's a YouTube platform, but for, is it, is it, do you know the, the back end on that mechanism compared to, like, is it similar to a watermark uh, technology? And also, um, for the web crawler you mentioned, do you, any providers that you find that uh, are specific, where you have to kind of write your own custom uh, crawler for that? Okay, so, so yeah, I think yeah, maybe that the, we'll address both parts of the, your, your question. I think with uh, YouTube, as Graham mentioned, they use a uh, fingerprinting technology which has a which does a perceptual match with a reference file of, of the video and, 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 the, and the audio. So all, all that can tell you when it works uh, is yeah, if uh, the, the, the song is a Rihanna song or if the movie is X-Men. 
uh, with, with watermarking, you know, what, what the, 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 the payload will be, uh, what the uh, payload will be able to tell you is, you know, did it come, you know, is this Rihanna song from, you know, uh, you know uh, the person XYZ who received this as a pre-release? Uh, or, yeah, is this X-Men film, yeah, was this sent to uh, Google Play, was this sent to Voodoo, and did the piracy come out of that distribution channel? So that, 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 that's the difference between fingerprinting and watermark. Uh, exactly, and, and, that, and, that, and that's what I mean by yeah, session-based watermarking becoming deployed yeah, for early window of premium content. Uh, so, and then yeah, on, on the second part of your question with respect to uh, uh, web, web crawling, again, you know, you, you're looking for a web crawling provider that can address you know, all the major piracy platforms, whether it's P2P, uh, you know, web, you know, web, web type uh, threats such as uh, uh, streaming, on-demand streaming sites like YouTube and Daily Motion, uh, or direct download sites, so, so the, the so-called locker sites. And then you also have the live redistribution sites that take a, a linear stream from an OTT or an MVPD source and, and, and streams it live uh, on, uh, you know, to, to any IP connected player. Okay, we're gonna, if anybody has any more uh, questions for them, they'll be taking them afterwards. For now, we're gonna wrap it up. So a little applause for Graham, Lawrence, and Michael. Thank you, everybody. Good job, guys.